Hello friends, I am Dr. Mohsen Raj. I have done my MD from Ames, New Delhi, and now I'm a DM cardiology student at the same institute. In this video, I'll be sharing three apps that you can use on your mobile and three websites that you should be using maybe every day or quite often while you uh, are a medical student or you're practicing as a resident or a junior doctor in your college. So the first application that I'm going to suggest you to use on your phone is uh, this, cal uh, this uh, known as MDCal, right? Uh, so what this application is about is uh, the various risk scores or different scoring systems that you come across in different subjects. Uh, this is showing some of the ones that I've recently used, for example. You can search anything in it, any score, for example, creatinine clearance, you have to commonly like, uh, for example, calculate for uh, some of the patients you might be taking care of. So all you have to do is type, uh, you know, uh, whatever you need, type on it and fill this, uh, the detail that is needed. So um, like you need to enter the gender, the age, let's try to do an example. So I'm uh, just writing, you can change the, you know, uh, the units. Let's enter the creatinine value. Let's enter the height, and this uh, this application will show you the creatinine clearance. So this is quite handy bedside when you when you're taking care of the patients. Now, in addition to that, you know if you click on the next steps or if you click on the um, the evidence behind it, it it not only uh, gives you the value of that GFR, but then it also tells you the evidence behind it, the source, the different equations that are used for calculating creatinine clearance and the actual reference, the original reference that was used in this calculator. It's very handy. You can use almost all, you know, um, all calculations that you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Bedside, for example, you want to estimate ABCD2 score. You want to use maybe 10-year CVD risk estimation. So such commonly utilized scores or you want to estimate you know, uh, surgical risk in, in a patient under, uh, going for a cardiac surgery and things like that, easily available in this in this application and it's quite free. It's free of use, free of cost. The second, it is uh, known as QXMD, this, uh, the icon uh, read. So this is another interesting, uh, you know, um, uh, application. So what it basically uh, covers is the latest papers, the latest articles, the review articles, original studies coming from different journals. And if it has a free access available to it, it will let you download it. It's going to download it for you. Okay. And if it does, so for here, for example, it writes paper not downloaded. So because it is not free of cost or due to some reason, and, and you might be interested in a particular paper, like, and it may provide you an easily downloadable version for that. See here, it downloaded this one, and there you have the article in front of you. So why I request you to use this application is because in your busy day-to-day -day residency program, you will not be able to go to individual websites of the different journals and look for your uh, type, you know, uh, the articles of interest. So this is going to give them uh, to you as a feed for example here uh, i'm accessing uh, quickly in an, art an article and it's giving me a free pdf of that of, of that version and another interesting thing is that you can mention the journals that you want to read for example i'm a cardiologist and i'm using these uh, important cardiology journals and it gives me fresh feeds and 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 whenever new articles come it just gives me a, a notification and, and you can easily read from it. Very, very helpful um, um, application. The next one that we would consider would be UpToDate. Well, UpToDate is, uh, it is, it's actually a paid application, but most of the institutes, most of the colleges will give you a free access. I'm from Ames, we have free access and most of the colleges do actually have and up to date has actually lots of things besides the extensive you know review of literature you can find all articles you know in full depth all topics are covered but in addition you can see some of the extra things um some of the things uh, which you know uh, now here i'm searching so the, one of the common things you can use it for would be 
like dose calculation or maybe checking the dosing in um, a particular renal impairment patient so in that situation it's it's very handy and similarly uh, you can you know um, use it to browse the latest information see your books may not contain up to date information your books may be written maybe 2 years back the evidence the, the literature review would be maybe 3 years back but up to date will offer you some of the latest evidence you know it's it's updated very very uh, you know frequently and sometimes it's very interesting you open an article and see it has been updated just two days back right so um, then another part that you may consider using uh, in this app is something like so let me show you the um, you know it also has by the way calculators just like md cal you can use any of these calculators uh like for example uh, this one and another key thing in this uh, in this application is the drug interaction so it's very hard to remember the different drug interactions let's see you're prescribing two medications to one patient you want to see whether the two medications interact for example i'm interested a patient is uh, has uh, has a seizure disorder is on phenytoin and now uh, i want to prescribe an antiarrhythmic drug like amiodarone uh so i put it in the two i put these two um drug names in the application click analyze and it's going to give me the report and here it says uh the final result it has given a class c and you can click on it and it's going to give you the details so phenytoin may decrease the serum concentration of amiodarone amiodarone may increase the serum concentration of phenytoin so these things are difficult to remember but using these applications could be quite handy especially bedside the third application that uh, you know it's in fact a website now i'm going to tell you three websites that you will find very handy the first one is the libgen see type libgen in google you'll you'll go you'll find this screen this is libgen.ic and you'll find the screen you give a name of any book but be cautious you have to write the uh, exact name of the book so here i'm pasting i'm, I'm using see harrison's principles of internal medicine and it gives me you know the list of books almost all the previous versions as well as the latest editions you can click and download on you know almost any book i i never missed a book from it you know whatever book i want to download quickly open libgen put in the uh, name of the book it will uh, lead you to the next window so let me click on the harrison's uh, medicine and here down you will have links to download you can click any of these libgen you know uh, download links so uh, the next website that you would find very useful of course everyone knows about the, the sci hub see if you want to read an article in you know in length complete article but you see that it's maybe from a paid journal well um, luckily this article the one on the screen is not uh, it's a free uh, article but if you have any uh, you know article that's from a paid journal you want to read it just copy the doi uh, the uh, digital identif identifier copy that number uh, just paste it in the sci hub click open you get a link to download that article this is very handy uh, you can almost download any article you know in full pdf version even if it's a paid um, on the original website and uh, the third one is pubmed again if you are you know uh, preparing your thesis or the protocol of your thesis you have to do a literature search well the best place of course is pubmed so this is um, you know as you can read it comprises more than 33 million citations from the biomedical literature from medline life science journals and online books and it's from the official us national library of medicine so you can type anything whatever you want to study uh, for your uh, protocol you can type let's for example let me type stroke in it okay so let me type stroke in it and let's see what it displays it displays so many articles you know here 33 lakh 85000 articles so another feature that you can use on it just click on the particular types of articles you're interested in maybe you're interested in a systematic review maybe you're interested in just uh, the ones published in last one year or last five year it's going to filter out for you so just you'll have to screen these 1400 papers to get to the paper of your interest 
And there are many ways to use, uh, you know, uh, PubMed. You can use, so I mean, there, there can be a separate class on this, but here I'm using a simple command. I'm adding an and between the two words. So it's going to give me the articles that have stroke in it and young in it. So maybe you're interested in stroke and young. It's going to give you uh, the articles that are relevant to your search. Here it, it has narrowed down the search to just 56 results. Extremely useful. You can have a separate class on how to use PubMed, how to build your search, and how to you know get the uh, the studies that you want for your thesis. I I hope that uh, this information, these three applications and three websites, uh, will be of use to you, and you may use them um, while you're um, you know busy in your medical school. Thank you. Good luck.